The six yeah, straight six game straight. with yeah. multiple TD passes. That ties Justin Herbert's rookie record. And I guess do the do the postseason count? We maybe you can extend it next week. But another day in which I thought he just looked like most other days. We are seeing him. You know, I thought one thing that stood out to me today a couple of times. He's just, you know, the mobility, there is a limit to it. Like Kyle ran him on one play that got blown up. He tried to do the backside. I, see, I, I, what I think happened on that play <clears throat> is that the running or the, the linebacker was untouched and was going to blow up Elijah Mitchell. So, so Elijah it. Mitchell just took him. He just um, took him and then Purdy left. I, I, I think that was a give. I, I don't think, I think the play got blown up and Purdy just took off. Purdy, and Eli, Elijah just didn't take the ball. Like he just went to save, you know, basically the, Brock. The smart play. Purdy, uh, a couple of those blindside turns, which he, he goes to his left. Kyle runs him to his left. He goes to his left. And um, early in the game, he knocked him out of field goal range, taking a sack, rolling to his left. The, you know, for all the shit, everyone. He had a really good game. I'm just looking for new stuff. Well, I would say this for the Arizona Cardinals. They do have a lot of quick players on their roster on defense. Yeah, Isaiah Simmons can run. You know, their defensive line is, is pretty athletic. Their DBs, it just feels like they t- consistently, they're not a great defense, but they are a fast defense. And that's just, we saw it last year with Trey. Uh, you know, I, Buddha, not around. But they, they have a lot of guys like that. It feels like in that mold, they can run. It's a tough, like, you, you're not just going to run around on that on those guys. And you're right. For the first time today, there were multiple guys that he realized, like, I, I'm not going to consistently just run away from those guys. But I also think he knows that. Like, I don't think he... I think he does it a lot of times more survival mode than he does it for, like, I think I'm some sweet athlete. Yeah. Even though he did pick up a play with the uh, first down with his legs, I think it's more than serviceable for a guy that ultimately you're going to win with him throwing the ball. If he was not a good thrower like that, he wouldn't bring it up to the table with his legs. But to me, he's a – I mean, guy, in his five games, obviously 5-0, and and it's weird. Sometimes, in in fairness to, like – the team relative to six. Jimmy. I mean, like, he played so much of the Dolphins game. It's not technically a start, but. Yeah, a, a lot of times, like, Jimmy is like, you know, I, I wouldn't say he's like Allen or Burrow in this bad boy. <laughs> you know, the, it was a group effort here. This guy threw 13 touchdowns in his six games and was slinging the ball consistently throughout this his run as the starting quarterback. He is pushing the ball down the field. Unlike Jimmy Garoppolo, when, it would, when they just get into third and long in, in these situations today, like, he, I, I just feel like they can convert third and nine. Doesn't mean they always do, but they are willing to throw it, run deeper routes, and he's definitely willing to to let it go because he's yeah, I mean, woke. I mean, Brandon Ayuk and George Kittle have become monsters with him slinging the ball. Yeah, like today again, multiple throws, touch throw on the first touchdown to Kittle was a beautiful throw. Um, was he on the move on that throw? No. 40? Kind of, kind of moved to his left a little bit in the pocket, but I wouldn't call him like scrambling around. Early in that drive, he had a nice throw down the field to Ayuk. Get a bunch of throws to Ayuk. Him and Ayuk. But he, you know the one that Ayuk dropped, the one over the middle of the field that he kind of laid out for. I think his misses are so much better than the misses the Niners have been used to the last four or five years. Like if that's their miss, like you can live with it. Yeah. I. I I think he's not a lot a, of tip balls over the middle of the field. He's just a really accurate thrower of the football with his feet are set. And I think that was on full. I mean, 15 to 20 playing a gutless one, two, three Cancun team. But I mean, he well, was I just, mean we're, we're going to give him credit for the pass rush, though. Well, yeah, I, I just thought he was he's just an, a very accurate passer from the pocket. Yeah, it was um, which is something they've lacked. I, I think the other thing. When you watch him, and this is not, we've talked about this, I but I just thought it today. Like at one point early in the game, I think he was six of 10. And you just watched him going, at no point does he look rattled. And it just stands out every week. I'm not breaking news, but you know, when he's at the line of scrimmage and there's nine on the play clock and he's just kind of looking around, licking his fingers, he's just, it just stands out every time I watch him. I, and it hasn't gotten old that he's extremely well prepared for this, for all of this. What do you think about his rollout back to his left? No one open stops, slings it. Mahomes sidearm to Kittle. It was an incompletion. Well, but Kittle had like, to break it up. Yeah, it was like between two guys. He kind of sidearm. Is that the, like, on the sideline where Kittle had to break it up that play? No, this is 
this is probably him on the numbers. It was like a bootleg oh, you know, yeah, to his, yeah, yeah, yeah. his non-throwing yeah. side. So he yeah. stops. Clearly the cross or whatever is taken away. So he does like his check down. But there was a guy in front of him. So he kind of does a Mahomes sidearm. Yeah. yeah. He had he's another. Just, he's feeling himself. He, he had another one on the sideline that Kittle had to break up. Um, just kind of play DB on. That that touchdown pass, though, to Kittle where he's like this with his arms extended where he did the toe tap. Yeah. That's just a fantastic throw. You know, just a fantastic, like, that's so high-level NFL, right? All-pro level tight end in the back of the end zone. Put it up where only he's getting it, but not too high where you overthrow him and you go, God, that's a that's got to be a touchdown. Not behind him, not where he's got to lay out. Just give your athlete a chance to make an athletic play, and then boom, seven. Yeah. Yeah. 